Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on the sine rule. Uh, so when we first come across the sine function, we use it to find missing angles and missing lengths in right angle triangles. Uh, but the sine rule is a formula that we can use to find missing angles and missing side lengths in any triangle. Uh, so uh, using this triangle here on the right as an example, uh, the sine rule formula is as follows. So A divided by sine A uh, so I'm just going to quickly interrupt to say that uh, we use lowercase letters for sides and we use capital letters for angles. So A, uh, the side length A over sine A, so that's the ratio between side length A and sine A, uh, is equal to the ratio between side B and sine of angle B, uh, which is equal to the ratio between side C and the sine of angle C. Uh, now, if we want, we can also write this the other way up. So we can just completely invert all of the expressions. So sine A over A is equal to sine B over B, uh, which is equal to sine C over C. Uh, now, whichever one you use will depend on what values you have in the question and what it is you're trying to work out. Uh, so one of these is more useful for finding an angle and one is more useful for finding an unknown side. So let's move on now to look at an example question. So here we're going to be using the sine rule to find the side length marked x, so that's this one down here, uh, to three significant figures. The side lengths are given in centimetres. So because we're looking for a, sine, uh, a side length here, sorry, we're going to be using the version of the sine rule that makes it easier to find the lengths. So that's going to be x over sine 21. So this angle of 21 degrees is opposite the side x, uh, so it goes underneath x on the fraction. That's going to be equal to 23, so that's our other side length, divided by sine 35. So that's the angle opposite the side length of 23 centimetres. Now we want the value of x, so we're going to rearrange this equation by multiplying uh, this value of sine 21 uh, up to the other side of the equation. So what we're doing here, multiplying both sides of the equation by sine 21, that's going to give us x equals 23 times sine 21. We're dividing that by sine 35. So let's just whack all that into the calculator. We'll have a fraction, sorry, 23 times sine 21. Dividing that by sine 35. Remember to close the brackets on these uh, calculator inputs because it might mess up the calculation. Uh, and that's going to give us a value of 14.37. So x equals 14.37 or 14.4, seeing as though uh, it asks us to give it to three significant figures. And remember to put the units uh, just because they're given in the question. Uh, so let's have a look at a second example of the sine rule. This time we're finding a missing angle. So use the sine rule to find the obtuse angle marked x to two significant figures. Uh, well, because it's an angle, I'm going to use the version of the sine rule that makes it easier to find angles. Uh, so that's sine A over A equals sine B over B. Uh, so in this case, uh, let's say that this angle X is A, and therefore this side is A, and then this angle here will be B, and then this side here is B. So plugging these into the expression then, uh, we get that sine A, or sine X now, uh, divided by a, so that's 43, equals sine b, so sine 33, uh, divided by b, which is 25. So sine x uh, is the same, or is equal to 43 sine 33, divided by 25. So all I've done there is I've just multiplied up the 43 from the left-hand side, uh, so it's now on the right-hand side, uh, to get sine x on its own. So uh, to get x on its own now, uh, we need to do the inverse sine function on this right hand side. So the inverse sine, we write as sine to the minus one, uh, and then the expression is sine 43, sine 33, divided by 25. So if we put that into a calculator, uh, we get uh, sine to the minus one of 43, sine 33, remember to close, uh, close the brackets, divided by 25, and that gives us a value of uh, 69.5, or 70 to two significant figures. Uh, so that equals 70 degrees. 
But if we reread this question, uh, it says use the sine rule to find the obtuse angle, and the angle we found is 70 degrees. Uh, so 70 degrees is not an obtuse angle. Uh, so what's going on? Uh, well, uh, if we draw a straight line down here to form an isosceles triangle, uh, so in other words, these two sides are the same, uh, so these are both equal to 25 centimeters, or 25 meters, sorry, uh, then the angle we've actually found is this angle here. Uh, now, uh, that's not too much of an issue uh, because this is an isosceles triangle and the two base angles are the same. Uh, so the triangle we're dealing with is this one. Uh, so if this angle here is 70 degrees, then this angle here is also 70 degrees. Uh, so in order to find the obtuse angle, which is x, all we have to do is uh, minus 70 degrees from 180 degrees uh, because the two angles are on a straight line along the bottom. Uh, so therefore x is 110 degrees to two significant figures. So if you're feeling ready to tackle some sign rule questions, then you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at and you get instant feedback on all of them. So you can track your progress, find out where you went wrong, see the solutions and so on. So if you're interested, then click the link below. You can have a go at the exam now. It will take you straight there.